Boston. Good. Well, uh, finally kind of learned my way around. Uh, again, like the people have been great here. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of getting getting used to it. Coach Happy talked about how you were a little bit gassed running all those routes. It's mm -hmm. a little bit different play style than when you were at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. How are you adjusting to that dual responsibility now? Um, yeah, it just, it's just something that's going to come as you play more games. Um, trying to get a little bit extra conditioning after practice. Uh, the heat was kind of a factor, but something that like I need to be prepared for. So, um, yeah, I just, I just need to keep working at it, and eventually it'll, it'll catch up. Coming off a loss like that, how long do you kind of let that sink in and, and kind of linger before you move on to the next day or the next game? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to, to let it motivate you but not to be hung up on it. So we came in on Sunday, um, walked through corrections, watched the tape, and after that point, it's for us, it's, it, it's buried. It's in the past. We have to take what we can learn from that and move on. Uh, for you personally, with in terms of corrections, just what is it that you guys do this week to, to improve? Is it drill work? Or is it continue to study yourself or, or work with each other? Like, how do you go? How do you go through the progression? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is we just need to focus on the the details and the execution of the offense. Um, we have great players on this team, um, and and that showed up on on Saturday. But but what also showed up is we need to be more focused and, and we need to execute better. Or about your bond with Phil, just how much did your past experience with them help, and what's it like kind of getting a, getting all these reps in, in games? Yeah, um, I, th I think it definitely helped. I mean, we've been out there together before. I mean, we've been playing together on on and off for four years now. Um, so yeah, I think when I got out there, it definitely it definitely played a factor. Just that prior connection, kind of like nonverbal communication type stuff, um, that that worked out well. Going off that, what role did Phil play in getting you here? Uh, Phil was big in, in, in getting me here. Um, he was a guy that. I stayed in touch with uh, when he went to Boston College, and uh, just having someone here that I could trust in, in such a prominent position uh, was huge. Was, was instrumental in getting me here. So. What sticks out to you about this Virginia Tech defense? Um, they're experienced. Uh, a lot of guys coming back. A lot of guys have played a lot of football. Um, so they so they're not going to make as many mistakes. Uh, they're not going to they're not going to quit if, if they go down early. So something to keep in mind. Talk about turning the tight end into a vertical position with your size and speed. Yeah, I, mean, I definitely think that there's a lot of things I can do, especially with, I mean, we have such talented receivers outside, Zay and Jaden, Jalen, that um, having another, having someone else that can run down the seams and really stretch the defense is, is a huge advantage, especially with the safeties having to respect those, those outside receivers. What's your relationship with Jeremiah Franklin? I know he's a young guy, yeah, but yeah. still getting some reps already. Yeah, yeah, um, he's, he's a really talented guy, but yeah, he's a young guy. Um, has spent a little bit like with anyone at his age, so it's really just trying to bring him along, um, calm him down a little bit. His head's spent a million miles an hour, and uh, just trying to make sure he doesn't get too far behind and, and doesn't get too down when, when things don't go right. Uh, there's there's so few guys that in college football now that have the experience of playing at Lane Stadium mm -hmm. as it as it is like yeah. as it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. um, did you play? Did you have the opportunity to go down there? I know it, it'd mm -hmm. probably be 2018 or 2019 ish for so, uh, coming here. So I actually I actually played there uh, last year last okay. season. Uh, we had a like a we need two two minute drives to win the game. It was a big uh, close game down there. But uh, so I have the experience playing there. It's it's an awesome environment, but. I think it's definitely helpful for me having been there, not to get kind of caught in all that, all the extra going on, just, just kind of focus on the game. Have you explained to teammates this is, who haven't been there, like this is this is what it is when you're in the tunnel, this is what mm -hmm. it is when you're in the stands? Yeah, I've talked to them a little bit about it. Um, but at the end of the day, like all these guys, most of these guys have played in a lot of stadiums before. Uh, so, so at that point, it's, it's not really any different than anything else. With Lucchetti and where out, I mean, you're the newcomer, but you're kind of like the seasoned guy in mm -hmm. the tight ends room now. Did you kind of realize you're going to have to take a leadership position? Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't think so this quickly because with, with Joey in here, Joey was definitely the uh, the senior leader in the room. But um, now, now that he's done, uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's a role that I've kind of had to step into. Um, I'm happy to do it. Uh, I like to do it. Um, it really, it's just about helping helping the younger guys stay confident, and learn the playbooks. Yeah, you used to be in that role at Notre Dame with, you know, Cole Komet and Elise Mack and guys like that mentoring you. Yeah. What's it been like sort of trying to take on that role as the mentor here? Yeah, um, it's, it's good. Uh, I'm just trying to take the things that those guys did so well um, that really, really, really helped me come along and helped me stick with it um, and just, just applying that to, to the younger guys. Because, like, you see so many, so many similarities, say, like, in myself. Like, the things that are confusing me and the things I had problems with uh, when I was that age. Um, and then, like, taking what helped me and try to pass it on to those younger guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.